Hi, and welcome to the behind the scenes video of Procrastination. I'm Peter Rabeins. And I'm Maxi Monhompel, and together we wrote and directed Procrastination. <laughs> start, we wrote the basic storyline together. We didn't have a specific direction in mind and the only real restrictions were that it had to be doable in a short amount of time with nearly no budget. After writing the script, I made a storyboard thinking about every shot and the way I wanted it to look. This made us save a lot of time on set. Ik ben Nele Gabijns en ik ben de art director van Procrastination. Omdat de kortfilm maar drie minuten mocht duren, moesten we in zo weinig mogelijk tijd zo goed mogelijk Alex zijn karakter visualiseren. De mok die in het begin in beeld komt, die maakt al meteen duidelijk wie Alex is en wat hij doet. Ook in zijn kamer zijn verschillende verwijzingen naar allerlei andere films en ook naar zijn storig karakter en uitstelgedrag terug te vinden. Met behulp van al deze kleine details willen we de kijker onderdompelen in Alex zijn wereld. Procrastination was shot in a day and a half. In total, we shot at nine different locations. We lost quite some time unpacking every time and moving from location to location. It wasn't always easy to find the right locations either, especially finding a snack bar where we could shoot was quite hard. The short film was shot on a Canon 600D using the cine style profile to get as much detail as possible. For the wide and medium shots, we used the Tamron 70-50mm f2.8. For close ups, the Canon 50mm f1.8. The coffee shot was done using a GoPro. For audio, we used the Rode VideoMic Pro. This was the first time we used visual effects in a short film, so we planned those shots extra carefully. To sell the effect, we combined visual and practical effects. It's important to do as much as you can in camera to make sure you don't lose the connection to the real world. Plus, those practical effects will make it easier to add in the visual effects later. The UFO was already modeled before we shot Procrastination, so we didn't need to worry about that anymore. After shooting, I converted the H.264 files to ProRes. The short was edited in Premiere Pro and visual effects were done in After Effects. We didn't use much of the sound recorded on set. Most of the things you hear were recorded later using the VideoMic Pro and the RoadRack app. That way we had more control over each individual sound. For the first time we collaborated with a composer. We had the chance to work with the very talented Nick Van Elsen. He wrote this beautiful score in very little time. Because there isn't any dialogue in the short film, the music would play an even more important role in telling the story. That's why we wanted a score that fitted the images and supported the story perfectly. Overall, it was a very fun project. Very different than anything we had done before because of the visual effects and because of the amount of amazing people involved. We never had such a big and talented crew before. Above all, we had the ability to challenge ourselves as a filmmaker and pursue our vision and try new things while making this short. Thanks for watching and keep procrastinating!